Men run the world, it makes me mad. There's much they do that bites. For every act of gallantry, they start three stupid fights. And the thing that makes them noble shall cause them to atone. It drives a man to extremes, it's called testosterone. It's a hormone and it's mighty, should be classified a drug. It's inside each and every man, be he gentleman or thug. It's what controls the mafia, it's how the West was won. Why a man picks up a microscope or a man picks up a gun. Oh, testosterone, yeah, there's nobody home. When this drug kicks in, brains go out the window. Oh, I love you, men. Ah, but then again, it's why we're in the mess we're in. Our neighborhoods are plagued by gangs, our prisons overbooked. A new war will break out tonight before my dinner's cooked. It's the urge to conquer and coerce men can't seem to control. Why Nixon bugged the Watergate and O.J. killed Nicole? Hey, I don't make this stuff up. But this doing without thinking can spark heroic acts. A man leaps to the rescue without considering the facts. He'll save a child from a burning house, risk his life to build a bridge. Cure polio, climb a power pole, and if you ask him, move the fridge. Well, you know, it built the World Trade Center, then brought it down. It shot men into outer space and again in Vietnam. The Beatles had less of it than the Rolling Stones. It's the backbeat of rock and roll, good old testosterone. When I think about the way things are, I know what must be done. Men should learn to feel their feelings and call that masculine. Instead of always lashing out, look for answers from within. Put balance in the universe, add some estrogen. Oh, testosterone, yeah, there's nobody home. When this drug kicks in, brains go out the window. In the 11th hour, let women share the power. And together, we'll face the millennium. Oh, testosterone, yeah, there's nobody home. When this drug kicks in, brains go out the window. I love you, men. Ah, but then again, it's why we're in the mess we're in. Well, that's Robin good. Roberts. Yes, we know each other. <laughs> and this is, uh, this is uh, Emmerich Conrad. That's, that's Emmerich Conrad, right? Not Conrad Emmerich. Um, Conrad Emmerich would be the other way, but it depends on which way. If you're upside well, down, it's Conrad Emmerich. I'm glad she got estrogen, estrogen in there because yeah. uh, it's a better rhyme for mess we're in. It is. Yes. It is. And you know what? There's something wonderful about estrogen. There's something wonderful about oxytocin, too. Oxycontin? What? No. Oh, no. Just checking. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and dopamine and uh, all those you know, things. All those you, things. Know. Yeah, you, know. you need everything. Yeah, you know, if you don't have it, you get bored. Uh, so, uh, Mr. Um, Conrad, sir, uh, you're an artist. I've been told. I've I've not yet so seen your art, <laughs> but uh, you are going to produce some art here live, <laughs> in real time. Yeah. In this little hour we have, I. Have you ever painted a? Uh, do you um, paint or do you? Uh, I live know, piece. Uh, you could be a live sculptor. Piece. It's not chainsaws and. Uh, no, I only I, do sculpture. But okay. for one time, I'm going to actually do a painting. I'm kidding. I always paint. Yeah, but thank you for having me, by the way. Thank you for being I, had. Yeah, you know, I'd love <laughs> to be had. Uh, well, I look forward to seeing your um, creation. You do paint. I do paint. Okay. I do paint. I do paint. Many painters also draw. And, and I do draw, uh, but I think painting is kind of, uh, uh, when you draw, you add painting on top of it, and it makes it. All I know is that watercolor is a very unforgiving medium. Watercolor is the hardest medium there is. Yeah. 
Uh, well, uh, so uh, is there anything else you'd like to say? In uh, do you want to set in, do, in do, my do, defense? No. Do you do you want do you? <laughs> this is your Sorry. opportunity. To, Thank you. To set up what you're doing, if you if you want the audience to know. Um, I would but since I don't know, why should they? I know, and and neither do I. So what's going to happen tonight? Apparently, is I'm going to actually do a live painting. Okay. And hopefully it won't be terrible. And if it is, it'll be embarrassing. At least we'll see the process. It'll be a great process. And know what not to do next time. Exactly. Yeah. And exactly. And I'll blame it on somebody else. Yes. So and, it'll be good. Uh, are you going to keep the, sun, the sunglasses on while you're painting? Or is oh, that yeah. Just, oh, yeah. No, it's, it's an attitude. It's an attitude. I'm from L.A. Are you so. really going to wear the sunglasses? Oh, hell paint? yeah. Okay, oh, well, yeah. I'll, 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 oh, yeah. that's going to be interesting. Yeah, yeah, it will be good. That, you know what it does is it kind of diffuses the colors. Yes. Yes. I was looking at your ring because uh, when I was uh, um, when I was a kid, because yep. I'm 10 years older than you are. Right? Yes, which is a, such a long Quarters time. were still made out of uh, silver. And right. I used to take a, a spoon and, and hammer a quarter and hammer it over like that and drill it out, and you'd have a, a, a ring that said, E pluribus unum, yes. on the inside, yeah. Well, this is um, and my for a wife. Second, I thought it was a hammered, uh, like a hammered it, metal, but it's, it's enamel or something, isn't it? No, it's something cheaper than that. Um, I eloped with my wife at the Chapel of Guadalupe. Well. And I got this for free. And well, had you known each other a long time? Um, about a week and a half. But it was a good long week and a half. And how long have you mar been married now? Oh, God, eight years now? Oh, congratulations. It seems, sir. seems more like 75. Congratulations, sir. But thank uh, you. My ex-wife and I have both waited till we were four, we both waited till we were ready to, for marriage. We were both forty. The ex-wife. And then we married somebody. We I we known each other two months. Yeah. yeah. So uh, nothing wrong with that. A week and a half. Uh, my hat is off to you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, but Chapel of Guadalupe is on Broadway and was very entertaining. It's still there, and they oh. have marriages and divorces. Right over here. Yes. <laughs> So if it well, ever doesn't stop, work stop, out, exactly. I'm telling you. There you go. If it ever doesn't Anybody work out. Anybody says money can't buy happiness, never paid for a divorce. Yo. Ideas, Aubrey. Have you never seen something much beautiful? And Ray's never understand what I used to be. I never felt echoes around my music. Mine's going to shrine these streets and never know what I'm going to be. I tried to close my eyes. Reverse things around my stuff, things you don't even know about. I paint pictures around my walls, have gunshots around me, but you folks don't even see me. Light camera action. My words are always something different. Crucify me in my dictionary and know who I used to be, no one else can find me. I can walk down these streets and choke myself to death. I can see something beautiful, but no one else can see the peace. You re-educate your mind, re educate your soul, re educate your heartbeat around yourself you don't even know about. I can see me. I can only hear the echoes around my heart. Close my eyes every time I feel. Hear vibrations inside my heartbeat. Knowing I'm the king of the jungle every time I walk down these sidewalks. I roar like a lion spirit. But no one else can feel me. Really educate my soul, really educate my mind. I paint pictures around myself. I can hear them gunshots every time. Feel myself, feel me. Hear me when I have to cry me. How much longer are you gonna trap me? How much longer are you gonna put me inside this box? How much longer my brothers and sisters gonna walk down these streets and not feel nothing? How much longer are you gonna teach my young kids out there the real education out there? Cause LUSD is now me really teaching our young ones. A great man told me this, if I want peace, I must die for it. I want to change the revolution from poetry, from writing. I want to create my soul in time is mine. This right here is my own shoe soaking the light. I put my plantation in days like Martin Luther King was a part and Michael Max told me to really create my own true story. I live a day for each chapter. How much longer you want to cry for me? How much longer my baby's gonna see me? How much longer you gonna put me in this box? Because I am ready to war. This is not just me. I wanna speak Sahun. You wanna speak a different language. I wanna feel me while you feel us. I wanna change it. You with me, I see you. You feel me, I see you. You with me, I see you. But no one else can really feel my true voice. My true truth. How much longer? 
how much anger, how much depression, how much we will take away our job, how much you gonna take away our education, how the young ladies not gonna have their babies, how much they gonna see us, I want us as you want me, this is my truth. You know, I don't know who I know until I know, until I'm introduced to him again. Thank you. Yes, Mr. Aubrey. Thank you, thank you, well. thank you. That was the that was the day that the president was in town and the uh, tra traffic in LA was all blocked off. Oh and yes. I had to go through the Santa Monica Airport, and uh, the next day he walked into Canters with like two Secret Service guys. No, <laughs> now. Oh my God. We had to have lunch in Canters. Did that's when we did that performance at that little bar. Same with yes, Victoria. It was, it was, do you remember the name of that place? It was like the black and white or the in and out or the Not up the and down and or something like that. It was something in Venice, I remember. Yeah, it was Sentinel in Venice on the north side next to the guitar store. And it, it, was, yes. it, was, uh, 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 it had a name like that. In and, and out, some, up and down. Something like that. It was yeah, some, black and white. But we rocked and, that show too. I, I was over at um, uh, Art Chair LA and you know, the space and Light Apparent no Harris. Yes. Was, Light Apparent Harris was there that night with us too. And it wasn't until she was up in front of the mic, I went, wait a second, I know this person. I did a show with her. Yeah. And it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't until it's you were like actually, it, we met tonight. It I wasn't know. until you were in front of that microphone, I went, wait a second, I know this person. It's, it's really, it's, I'm a very, um, when people say like, I met this guy somewhere, but, oh my God, I met you at that other open mic. Like, yes, because I'm, when that my, wasn't an open mic. That was a. That was a. Uh, was it a show? Yeah, don't you remember? We did. We did. Yeah, yeah, very briefly. Yeah, like, yes, you know, we did. Sure. Rehearsed the lineup. Yes, we and, did. Uh, um, and Shauna Couples was there too. Yes, yes. Shauna was yeah. there. Yeah, she never ceases to surprise me. No. She, she speaks Mandarin. Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay, so uh, you're you LA. You're local to LA. Local, local to LA. Born and raised. I've been here since I was less than a year old. Mm. So, pretty much the same thing. Mm. Um, what do you want to talk about? Anything free in your mind. This is a great space to talk about. Well, uh, nobody likes abortions. Not, not even me. I don't you think know, it's right to kill a child. I, I, I uh, you know, I, even women who have abortions don't like, don't like them, I guarantee you. Um, but I think I think the same kind of thinking that is that is is going in. People who think that this isn't a war on women yes. think we're living in a post-racial America too. Do you think yeah. we're living in a post-racial America? No, no, obviously no, not. We're not. Yeah, no, okay. Uh, so, if you don't like abortions, why have your child? You know, abor abortions are at an all-time low. Yes, because of access to birth control. Mm -hmm. And education. Yes. Why is it the same people who don't like abortions want to take away the things that reduce it to abortions? Education, education and, birth, and birth control. And birth control and culture and race. You know, it's. Um, anyway, that's my two cents, <laughs> which is uh, also, the, the, they, they made a big deal about this, uh, having this bright red line. Of where the money, you know, the money that uh, the, the, no federal funds go to fund abortions. Yes. You know, I wasn't crazy about my tax dollars going to like bomb Iraq and no, so that no, nothing really. to do with 9/11. Uh, there's all kinds of things that government does mm -hmm. that individuals may not like or agree with. Uh, I don't know why this is. It, you know why it is? It's because of the fucking religious right. That's right. Yes. And it's, uh, you know. Uh, Christian conservatives hate to be reminded what Jesus actually said mm -hmm. about poor people. Um, yeah, because I feel like, you know, you... It's, it's like, uh, it's like, they call it Christianity, but yes. it doesn't have much yes, to do with, does. with, you know, Jesus Christ, no. at least not the one that, you know, I read about, or have read, about, you know, not the one in that book. Mm -hmm. Um... I don't get it. Me it's uh, cognitive dissonance. Yes. But if just about everything that comes out of Washington is co cognitive it's dissonance. It's chaotic, crazy. Uh, however, on a local level, politics seems to work. I mean, we have a subway. I never thought I'd live to see that. <laughs> I know. Or a transit system in LA that works. I mean, works. I really never thought I would live to see that. Wasn't there in 
Yes, yes. Well, of course. <laughs> and, and it went from it went from it uh, from Long Beach to Pasadena, yeah. and all the way to the beach. Monica. Yeah, and it was, uh, used to, I was I grew up in uh, later on in Beverly Hills, and they used to have wow. to run the train down the track right in the middle of Santa Monica Boulevard really? once a day to retain the rights. Mm -hmm. And uh, they eventually took the tracks out. But that piece of land is still there for all the way from West Hollywood to the 405 freeway. The red line. Well, no, it, would, no, yes. it wasn't the, the red, red line. line. It was the original red line. It was. Yeah. It was it. Really? Because uh, were they on the same, the same size as a... Oh, no, not now. No. It was the original, original, original red Oh, yeah. Line. No, no. But, but the, the train that they ran when I was uh, a kid in Beverly Hills in front of the Helms uh, Bakery. Right. Not Helms. Uh, the Wonder Bread Factory. The Wonder Red Factory, Helms is in Culver City. Yes. Uh, it, was, uh, it was like the size of a, uh, an Amtrak train. Mm. But uh, that piece of land still exists. Uh, I went to Beverly Hills High School. And they, there's, they, you know, the, the Purple Line, they want to take it to Beverly High. Wait, Beverly the Purple High. Line was going to all the way to Beverly High? Yeah, well, you know, it's, it's going to Fairfax in yeah. 2017. Then it's, well, no, first it's going to La Brea. Yes. Then it's going to go to Fairfax. Yes. Then it's going to go down Walsh, through Beverly Hills, and under Beverly High. Now, ah. Beverly High has been fighting it tooth and nail the entire time. Yeah, when they built the BART up in the Bay Area, the, uh, you know, San Francisco, the Lower Peninsula, where oh. like Atherton and uh, Silicon Valley, Palo Alto and all that, were all the rich people, yes. there, okay? They wouldn't let them bring the BART down the Lower Peninsula because they didn't want those people your people, my friend. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't want those people coming over they from didn't, Oakland. They didn't want that. The, okay. But, uh, now, because of the, you know, the, just the growth of uh, Silicon Valley, they're going to have to build it at 20 times yes. the price. So, um, I went to Beverly High. Mm -hmm. I wish there had been a subway to the beach there when I was, when oh I was there. God, it would have that, saved me a lot of time. Yeah, be so but amazing. my feeling is, if you want your house cleaned, asshole, the maid's got to get there. Yes, yes. Um, I don't get it. You know, I, I just... I don't get it. I look around and, you know what? If, I, if what I see out there in the world is normal, I'd rather be weird. Me too. Yeah. Well, you, congratulations, my friend. Thank you, Brian. You, you've, you've achieved your goal. Yes, I have. And I'm afraid I have as well. Yes. Uh, would you like to do an, uh, uh, I'm sorry, nobody gave me an itinerary or agenda. Do you know what we're doing? Is the show producer here? Yes. Uh, another, another. Oh, uh, Desi. Uh, yes, we have uh, one of the Rom Ramones here, Desi Ramone, uh, who's going to perform for us. So, uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, Desi Ramone.